Welcome to 286 East Elgin. There are two car garage in the front here. Really nice one car garage there. You can use as a home gym or as another garage or storage space. So here's the front patio, front porch. The back uh, porch is huge, made with these beautiful travertine tiles. So let's go inside and we'll work our way to the back. The entryway is nice and high. You can see the open air to the top story here. But before we go up, let's look at this room here. It's uh, right off the foyer. And right now it's decorated as a sport room. And then right across the foyer is, right across there, Scott. Hi, Scott. Um, the hardwood floor. And then there's another office area or just another open area that could be used as a formal living room, receiving room, home office, and that sort of thing. So that's when you come through the lobby, so the foyer. And then you have the um, family room and then a little extended room there that is a space for more entertaining right now. That's what they're using it for. But look at this finish on the walls. So this room, again, hardwood floor. They have kind of just an entertaining space here. There is a um, really nice full shower tub here, full bath here with nice new counters. And uh, this is the that single garage that we saw from the outside. So there is where you can keep storage. There's a door that goes to the side yard. They have their um, pre-wired for security here. So just so you can see the size of this room, looks to be about 18 feet, 20 feet wide and leads to the kitchen. I want to also show you this wall here it has entertaining, it's a fireplace, TV, speakers, and some nooks for other pieces that you have. Here's a smart thermometer, thermostat. And then this is a really large dining and kitchen space. So right now it goes all the way from here. So that's another 25 feet that is usable space with a big island, a good sized pantry, the double, double door, and uh, lots of cabinets, lots of storage, black appliances. Uh, this has another stairway to go up. So there was the stairway on the other side of this little console area and then this stairway. But I do want to show you that we have uh, this office area. So it's right off of the kitchen. It's like a butler's pantry. So the kitchen extends all the way. So that can be continued to be used as an office space or workspace, or you can convert it to a prep area for kitchen. But then right here is the laundry room. And you can see the laundry has plenty of room for both a fridge, plenty of cabinets, as well as washer dryer. And this is the other two-car garage. So this two-car garage has space for two cars, plus also has cabinetry. And another door that leads to the side yard. So this house has access to the, both side yards from inside the house, which is really convenient. And then we have, um, again, just taking your full circle, I wanna show you the kitchen cabinets. They're neutral in color. The countertops are Corian uh, that go along the walls. And there's a dock sink here. And good view of the backyard. And then also this huge island right here. And then we'll just take a quick look outside. You can see the length of this patio. It's pretty impressive size. It's the whole entire length of the house. So it looks like maybe about 60 feet maybe. But it starts with a built-in rain, a cooktop, and then a brother. There's two air conditioners there. And then the side yard has enough room for some storage, some storage sheds. Then this whole area is all specially tiled with, with uh, travertine tiles. The countertop has a nice, um, 
nice amount of space for prep and serving. A little fridge there. And again, um, views from inside the house. And then it goes all the way down here where they currently have sort of a sitting area here. And then another sitting area or play area here. So that's where this happens. Oh, and there's for the tent flaps. So side yard has really wide 10 foot RV gate, which is nice. And then that exit door from the garage. But there's a path that leads around here to the backyard. And you can see the backyard is very green with the artificial turf. Plenty of room for parties and entertaining family and friends. And then you can see the pool is a good size. It's Pebble Tech, so it's got a good life. And then you can put your umbrellas on either side here using these holes, or you can use it for your volleyball net. Whatever you want to do with that. So that's the, the pool deck. Really good shady areas here, as well as, so it's a north-south facing house, so it's really good exposure. So that's the entrance back into the house. So let's go upstairs. The main foyer area and then the steps leading up. Beautiful, soft carpeting that is very comfortable. Looks like the padding is very good quality. And again, you can also go right down those steps into the kitchen, which leads through the butler's pantry into where the kitchen is. So as you get to the top of these steps, you have this really large, probably um, 400 square foot, just game area, family area, gathering area. Then here's the master, which again is another, another 400 square foot. Large area, there's a king size bed. Two large windows looking out over to the deck that covers the back patio. And then you have more windows on this side. Very quiet. The carpet is nicely um, padded, but it, it uh, right now they are getting ready to get it uh, professionally shampooed and cleaned. So here is the his and hers closet. It's one big closet, but it has two doors, one on either side. So you can see Lots of storage here. There's a de um, rack on this side and rack on that side. And then look at the nice, huge, um, there's two vanities, his and hers vanities. Nice, large open area there. And then the shower here is a large walk-in with just a small step with a pretty new, looks like some newly uh, designed tile and solid glass doors. And there's the toilet room there and a jet tub, a jet jacuzzi tub with the windows here. So all these little upgrades and details like the granite, the granite sill, and these uh, nice tile work around the tub is pretty. The floors are this really nice, it looks like a vinyl tile, uh, wood look floor, but I'll find out what the floor is. And that is the master bedroom, a bathroom. It's quite a large room. So back in the master bedroom, you see the um, double doors out into this open area. And you can look out over the front where the foyer is. That's the entrance area. And just to get our bearings, this is the uh, the big loft area that is good. Good seating, but also there's space for exercise equipment. Overlooking the back yard where you see um, the deck that covers the covered patio. And then lots of lush trees. The backyard is really very private. So this hallway is a small vestibule that has a workspace for computers and three more bedrooms. One here and one here and one there. So we'll look at those here in a second. We'll look at the bathroom. This bathroom has a double sink vanity and a sliding glass door 
to the shower, which is really nicely redone. Um, it's definitely an upgrade from the original. And let's check out the bedrooms. So this bedroom has the double glass closet doors. It has a back window facing north and another side window facing east. And it's probably a very bright room <laughs> as a result. So they have painted it dark for the young guy who, who lives in this room. And then there's a linen closet here, very organized, a good way to keep your towels and blankets and sheets. Then here's a guest room. So you have a window facing west and a window facing south here. It faces the front yard, so you can see out to the uh, driveway and the street from here. Again, you have mirrored closet doors, a nice feature. And then right back out to the vestibule, and then the last bedroom that we are looking at is this one. And it again faces the front of the house, so it's facing south. And then we have these um, closet doors that are um, glass mirror. And every room has eight foot ceilings, and every room has ceiling fans. Here's attic access for um, people to service your air conditioning. And again, the loft area has got lots of nice natural light coming in on the north side. That's the coolest side. So this is a great room to be facing north. And so um, one of the rooms uh, downstairs that has the bar set up in it could be set up as um, another guest room, a fifth room, like a guest room, because it has a full bath right next to it. And this area up here, even though I know you really like this kind of open area, this could be also enclosed to be a rather large sixth bedroom. So you could have six bedrooms. And so um, let me know if you have any questions, or if you want any room measurements or anything about uh, the finishes or the fixtures, um, I'll be glad to get that information for you on this house.